back to The Local Tour. I'm your host, Gina Stidham, realtor and military spouse here in the Greater Fort Johnson, Louisiana area. Be sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure you stay up to date on all things real estate and lifestyle. In this episode, we are gonna visit several of the subdivisions DeRitter has to offer, and we're gonna take a look at the schools. There's gonna be tons of information, so grab you something to sip on and a snack, and let's get started. Green Acres is arguably the largest subdivision in DeRitter. It lies to the north of the city, spanning both Beauregard and Vernon Parishes. Meadowbrook Street acts as the dividing line with Vernon Parish to the north and Beauregard to the south. If you reside on the Beauregard side, you fall under DeRitter Schools, and if you live on the Vernon Parish side, you're zoned for Rose Pine School District. Green Acres showcases a mix of ranch and Acadian architectural styles. While older homes from the late 1960s stand at the forefront, newer constructions from the early 2000s are situated towards the rear. Most lots are relatively small, encompassing less than half an acre. According to the MLS data, this neighborhood experiences a high turnover rate. Home prices typically range between the low 100,000s to the mid 200,000s. Conveniently located near Walmart, shopping centers, and restaurants, this area offers easy access to essential amenities, all just within a five minute drive away. DeRitter's Hospital is only an eight minute drive away and Fort Johnson's main gate is a short 20 minute drive. Next, let's jump across North Pine Street on over to Harmony Hill and Northridge Estates, two charming subdivisions nestled on the northeast side of town. Hidden behind Take 5 Oil Change, MT Auto Mart, and other small businesses, this enclave of 40 homes offers a secluded retreat. Northridge Estate Homes were built in 2004, offering one-acre lots and homes between the sizes of 1,700 square feet to 2,000 square feet. Home prices range between $225,000 to $265,000. Harmony Hill homes were built between 2013 and 2016, half acre lots, and have homes ranging from 1,800 to 2,100 square foot in size. Their home prices fall between 250,000 to 300,000. Next, let's take a look at DeRitter Schools. The high school is ninth through 12th grade, junior high is sixth through eighth, Pinewood Elementary is fourth and fifth, Carver is second and third, and lastly, K.R. Hanchi is pre-K through first grade. There's a new elementary school being built right beside Pinewood Elementary. Just two miles south of Green Acre Subdivision is a blend of several subdivisions mixed together. They're located behind DeRitter's major commercial businesses and just north of DeRitter schools. This area is known as the high school drive area. Rainbow Forest is a 100 home subdivision on the northwest side of town. Most of the homes were built in the late 80s with half acre to one acre lots and average 1,800 to 2,400 square foot in size. Homes in this subdivision are between 225,000 to 275,000. Charleston Place is just across the street from DeRitter High School and offers about 50 homes that were built in the late 90s. Offering a variety of home and lot sizes, this subdivision is sure to have something you'll like. You can expect home prices to vary from $175,000 to $275,000. College Park is located across from K.R. Hanchi and Pinewood Elementary Schools. 65 homes were built in the 1960s, very similar to Charleston Place. You'll find a variety of homes on half-acre lots throughout. Price point ranges from $100,000 to $175,000. These subdivisions are located within a mile of DeRitter Schools, West Park, and West Park Pool, a quick three-mile drive to all of DeRitter's major commercial businesses, a five-minute drive to Beauregard Hospital, a quick 20-minute drive to Main Gate of Fort Johnson. Next, we're going to head three miles southwest of DeRitter Schools across 190 to what people call the Country Club area. If you enjoy golfing or you want to start it as a new hobby, you may want to consider living in one of these adjacent subdivisions. At the edge of city limits, the airport addition houses roughly 100 homes across the street from Beauregard Country Club and Golf Course. Homes in this area were built in the mid-1950s to the late 1980s. Sitting on roughly half acre to one acre lots, these homes are anywhere from 2,100 to 2,800 square foot in size. Home prices range between 225,000 to 350,000. Just a couple of streets east of the airport addition is a small group of 50 homes in a community called Country Terrace. Home styles are a mix of ranch and rambler and were developed in the late 60s to the late 70s. 
homes range in size from 1,000 to 1,700 square feet and have a price point of 100,000 to 175,000. The true Country Club subdivision is Country Club Estates. Homes in this area are large in size on at least one acre lots and have a variety of home styles. Prices range in this subdivision from the mid 350,000s to the 450,000. Moving a couple miles east towards the city of DeRitter, Edgewood Estates was established in the late 70s, early 80s and on quarter acre lots. These homes are similar in size, ranging from 1,200 to 1,600 square feet and have a price point range of 100,000 to 150,000. Just a half a mile down the road from Edgewood Estates is a small community of homes in Shirley Acres. Majority of the homes were built in the late 70s to the early 90s. However, I did find some data showing a couple of newer built homes in the 2008 timeframe. Homes are moderately sized, offering 1,700 to 2,400 square feet on half acre to one acre lots. Moving across Highway 27 to the southeast side into Ritter city limits, we have Nixon Estates, Deerbrook Park, and Memorial Park. These subdivisions are located less than a three minute drive to Carver Elementary School, Bryant and Veterans Pernissey Park, a quick eight minute drive from downtown to Ritter and local conveniences, and a 25 to 30 minute drive to Fort Johnson's main gate. Homes in this area were built on one acre lots between 2007 and 2013, averaging 1,500 to 2,200 square foot in size. Homes in this area have a price point of $245,000 to $295,000. Wrapping up DeRitter's episode with the last subdivision, Caldwell Heights. Just across the north side of 171, these older homes were built starting in the 1960s to the roughly 1970s timeframe and have a mixed construction style of concrete slab and piers and beams. Majority of the homes are on quarter acre lots and are in the price range of $100,000 to $165,000. This subdivision has the very same distance to local amenities as Nixon Estates and Deerbrook Park area. I really hope that you've enjoyed learning about some of the subdivisions and the schools DeRitter has to offer. DeRitter really embodies the perfect blend of rural living and modern convenience. Here the residents enjoy a relaxed pace of life all while being within reach of the amenities they need. With its country feel and close-knit community, DeRitter really captures the perfect essence of Southern hospitality making it a delightful place to live. I will see you in two weeks for part two of the series where we take a look at Vernon Parish.